Hi everyone, it's Lonnie, and welcome back, or welcome. We are doing prompts for the month of May, and I said I would show you what I ended up doing with yesterday's. Um, I used journaling cards, or prayer cards, and just wrote the verses on there. Then I took uh, this surgical tape. I think that it's what it's called. It, I used to call it rice tape. I don't know why. Um, I was allergic to this stuff with latex in the hospital when I had surgery. And so they gave me this stuff. And it's really see-through. And it's sticky, but it's not overly sticky, so it reminded me of washi tape. And I saw someone use it as washi tape, so I thought, why not try it? So what I did was I took this and then I made some stamps, or I stamped on it, and then I just used it as tape. Here's the part where I drew on it. That worked too. I guess you'd have to pick a good pen, something that wouldn't run or smear. But it seems pretty absorbent. It didn't take the stamps all that long to dry. And I didn't use the special ink. I used the Rangers. By special ink, I mean that Versa. Oh, what's it called? The stuff that's um, more permanent and dries faster. I didn't use that. This is just the regular rangers all right so then for today the verse the prompt was mind anyways it brought me to um philippians 3 but i was let me see what was i thinking because i have to do these the day before i i video them because um, I run out of time and if I don't get it prepared the day ahead then everybody starts waking up and making noise and then I can't do it so Philippians it's a short book but powerful I think I was going to work with the word mind. You know, I think I was working with the word may. Either or. Whatever word I was working on, I found it so many times that I just kept reading, reading, reading. And then I got to these verses... 20 and 21 and then I couldn't do that word anymore because these verses just kind of caught my attention and so I strayed from the the prompt and according to my list there the prompt was mind so anyways before I got sidetracked to this verse I was also intending to do a journal, a junk journal with the, uh, with the theme of the rapture. And so this ver these verses just um, would go so well with that. So I thought I'm going to incorporate that because I don't know if I'm going to get to that other journal. So the verses for our citizenship is in heaven from which also we eagerly wait for a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform the body of our humble state into conformity with the body of his glory by the exertion of the power that he has even to subject all things to himself. I can't even tell you how much this verse excites me. Um, I'm sure I've read it before, but when I read it yesterday, it was just like, 
There you go. That's what we're waiting for. It says so right here. We're waiting for a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform the body of our humble state into conformity with the body of his glory. So we're going to look like him. By the exertion of the power that he has. So Jesus is not coming back as this meek lamb. That was the first time he came. When he comes back the second time, he's going to come in power. And he's going to use that power to subject all things to himself. So, um, what I thought was cool too was he will transform the body of our humble state into conformity with the body of his glory. Right now, the bodies we have are corruptible. But Paul states it this way, that we will uh, rise or be transformed into the incorruptible. We will put on the incorruptible. And Jesus will do that when he comes for us. And that's not the second coming. That is when he comes to receive his bride to himself. As he states in John chapter 14, so here I just drew I just wanted to draw because I was thinking of transformed, being transformed into his image. So we're going to look like him. We're going to be like him, and it's going to be wonderful. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised we're still here. It's May. We uh, survived April down here. So, we live to glorify the living Jesus until he comes for us. I think we're close. When I see all the things going around or going on around us, we have to be close because this world is getting really can I say bonkers? I learned how to draw dragonflies from Kelly Bluen. I've mentioned her before. She's a C Zentangle certified. Let's try that again. Certified Zentangle teacher. She has a channel on YouTube called Kelly Bluen. And, um, yeah, so I've learned how to draw some things, including the uh, butterfly. I'm not copying her exactly. I do put my own tangles in, or doodles. Zentangle is a trademark name, so you have to be kind of... I don't know. Careful. I am not a teacher of tangles. I just draw them for myself.
so that's that page and just a reminder that it's perfectly fine to go off the prompts um, they're just meant as a guide and the reason they exist is to get us into the word so if we're in the word looking for the prompt word and the Holy Spirit directs us to a different portion of scripture by all means be obedient to that and do share what you get um, when you're working on these um, post them in the comments would love to read them and we can encourage each other again so with that I wish you a great day and thanks for tuning in we'll catch you next time bye bye